Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Kitachi Laboratories, episode 2. Chapter 2? Two? Chapter 2. It's episode 2 of chapter 2. What a coincidence, anyway. I can't stop my... I can't fix my spinning issue. <laughs> it shouldn't be too much of a problem, there's not too much like terrain gen here. So we should be fine. We should be fine. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go on to sector 3. That's track 9. Sector 3. And let's hope that everything is going to be fine. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no secrets, no secrets, I think. At least not here. Not right here. All right. Chamber 4 of 15. Good job making it this far, test subject 3. And now the chambers in this cavern will introduce you to one of the new testing mechanics the lab boys came up with while you were a frozen popsicle. These are our particle fields, and the first one you'll encounter is our state-of-the-art Kodacho Laboratories high-tech anti-science field. They'll destroy any slime balls upon impact, including the ones that you'll have stuck somewhere in your pockets. Now, uh, if the slime ball doesn't end up getting destroyed by these fields, and Instead, starts to mutate and become sentient. Please flag down the test associate immediately. This shouldn't happen, but God forbid we have another test track six incident. Good luck. <laughs> Sounds good. Is it me or the music? Oh, I didn't turn it back down. Right, that's the issue. Uh, that's the issue. I had to turn it back up because, you know, <laughs> I'm playing other things too. Anyway. All right. Let's kill slime wars. And it's green. That makes sense. Anti-science fields. Important. Hey there. Sorry to ruin the immersion, but we think it's important to admit that we know that slime wars can be picked up through the anti-science field by throwing them on the ground and picking them up on the other side. This isn't intentional, and we sadly can't think of a workaround that can fix this, so if you don't want to ruin the fun, please don't do this. Alright, yeah, makes sense. You would drop it here and then go here and pick it up through the field. So we won't do that. Probably. And then... That looks really neat. The way it goes away. Um, so we have... We could drop a slime bar <laughs> here. But then what would we do with it? One slime bar, one lever. So this is the only slime bar. I guess we could throw it up there. That's allowed, right? That must be allowed. That, that must be the way to do it, right? Because there's no other way to make progress at all. I'm pretty sure. So we could go through that door or we could go through here. If there's only one slime bar, why would you even do this? I'm confused now. The lever goes here. That gets rid of this. Slime bar goes through, goes in the hole, opens the door. Sure. Slime bar goes here to open this. This is the way back out. Sure. Okay. But we need to lever first, and that doesn't appear to be up here. So let's go down and through that door instead. All right, there's a lever. <laughs> that was easy enough. Now, does it also destroy um, only slime bars? So the lever is fine. Can we also drop levers? No, we're not allowed. Okay, so we can use the lever as a replacement for this. But then how do I get in here? Because it's a slime bar on this side. What? <laughs> I'm confused now. Okay, yeah, I wanted to know if we could like outrun the force field. We can't. We can't drop the lever here. We can't drop the lever. How do I get this line board through the force field then? 
Nor the other level doesn't get killed, so it's good to have very fine, I guess. Is there something we can do outside? I'm confused now. Oh, I mean, that bridge is just up there. Not much we can do about that. I'm confused about this. What am I missing? <laughs> I feel like I'm not having my best puzzle solving days here. Because there was just there was just a chest here, right? There was no... No other thing we can do? No. But then I don't really understand how we get that through there. But there's only one slam, slam board, one level, so we can't... You can make a new one, but it's gonna drop here. Not in there. <laughs> what? What? And if I'm not supposed to pick it up through the gate... I can throw it while I'm standing here? Yes, okay. Oh, but I picked it up as it was too close. That's a... Uh, not happy about that place, but it's okay, it's okay. It's just a little weird. But that is, you know, you get punished for the thing that is to exploit as well, because the like you pick up items from very far away. It doesn't seem like a good spot for it, honestly. But I mean, that is what we're supposed to do, right? Throw it through. Just not supposed to pick it up from the other side, right? Okay. I feel like I wouldn't have even tried that properly. <laughs> but it's okay. Nice. This upcoming chamber introduces our next particle field, which vaporizes you upon impact. So needless to say, don't touch it. I mean it. Those microbots we put in your eyes are super expensive and we would have no way to recover them. Also, think of all the lovely folks who get to watch this at home. If you touch those particles, not only do you die, but so does their entertainment. So try and not be selfish, okay? Sure. Is this where we're going? No, this door stays closed. Can we get over there? I don't think we can. Looks like it's too far. I missed that jump, really? Now I'm down here forever. Just poor, poor jumping. I think I could have maybe made that jump, actually. There's probably nothing there, though. But who knows? Maybe there is something there, and I missed the only secret so far in the map. What's going on over here? This looks interesting to me. I can't crawl. There's a chest though. The disc. Notice two experimental labs. Can be placed on jukebox. And once again we have a disc that we can play. We just need to find the jukebox in the experimental labs, maybe? Okay, okay, okay. I'm I'm on board now. I'm convinced this is a great map. <laughs> it looks really good. It looks really good. I really like the the style, the build style, nor the like the industrial feel to it is very nice. Anyway, cross grid. One slime bar, one lever. We touch this, we die. So we go below it. We jump over top it. <laughs> Can't go through, I have to go around. So far so good. And then um, there's the cross grid. We can't. I can go through. How do I do this? Where's, where do I get a slime bar? In the chest, probably. Then we get the lever here. Okay, that makes more sense. And then that gives us a slime bar here. And then we can't carry it through green, though. 
have to throw it again? Oh no, we go over the top. To avoid the green force field, and then we throw it onto the pressure plate. And then the force field goes away and we go through. And then... Well... I probably need to bring it up there, I'm guessing. Yes. So we throw it over top. I want to get a running jump, I didn't do it though. <laughs> Screwed it up, now we're gonna die. Yeah. Kind of annoying, honestly. I just don't trust the Minecraft throwing thing, because it's like weird, but I guess it's, you know, it's probably fine. Because <laughs> why wouldn't it be? Oh, that just stayed here, okay. Just need to get a new slime bar. See, that's why I don't, I just don't know how to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. It just feels like it's not gonna be enough here. It's not enough. Then how do I get it across? Do I jump over top of it? It doesn't seem possible. I can't do anything now. I have to die again. I don't know, yeah, I don't I don't like the I don't like throwing items. Like Q throwing them. I'm fine with like throwing snow wars or eggs, but I feel like here I have no control. Which is probably not true, I probably have control, I just don't know how to you know control the throw. Like I don't know if I'm supposed to jump over top. It looks like I could jump over top, but then Maybe I can't. I guess I just throw it there. Okay. It's, it's just a little chanky. I think it's a fun idea for a mechanic. I just don't know that mechanically, from like from a Minecraft point of view, it's like working super well. Maybe we just need to get used to it. Yeah, give me some speed portion stuff. All right. All right, firewalk. Want that too. Sector four. All right, what are we doing here? This looks different somehow. Are these doors that just can't be opened? Here's an actual fun fact before you start this next chamber. Hear that, Jeff? Get out of here. Now, this testing track has actually become fully automated. Now, over the years you've been asleep, automation and the science behind artificial intelligence has really blossomed, allowing us to create repair bots that clean up the testing tracks for us. Now, this means we never actually have to spend our time manually resetting the chambers when a subject is done with them. Instead, the robots come into the track after the test subject is done and then reset and clean everything up. This allows us to completely automate testing, which means we get a lot more science out of the tests than we did previously. Very nice, sure. <laughs> Sounds very good. Conveyor. Two slime bars, one lever. Okay, we can drop a slime bar right here. So let's, let's do that. Put the slime bar here. That seems relatively pointless at this point. I mean, we can drop one with the button here and get it through actually by standing on it, right? That's what we do. I'm guessing, yeah, yeah, we wait for this to come here. here and 
goes through. We go through, grab it on this side. All right, open that door. And then, I didn't even look what was over in here. I just started doing things. Uh, okay, cage on this side. We can put a thing here that lets us get onto those ladders. This drops the slime bar up on this thing, which then we could, well, not really do anything with, I think. So we'd also need to be able to run up the air somehow. Well, just give me a slime bar here. And then we can drop it here to see what this is actually like up here. Okay, lever goes here. This doesn't shut off ever, right? So we can go through, but the slime bar can't. And then here's the opposite way. Like we can't go through with the slime bar could. But why would you want the slime bar over there when we can be over there? Cause I can't get over there, can I? Oh no, I can, I can climb up here and then grab the slime bar from the conveyor and put it here to get through the door to get to the thing. Okay. Okay, so I need a second slime bar in here. Because I need one here and I need one, the other one to drop here. So we need to grab this one and go back out here, I'm guessing. This goes away. We make new slime bar appear here. It closes that door, but that's fine. Because we can go back through here and grab this one. And now we have one and two. Uh, one can go here. Yeah, that's the right one to put here because two needs to be on top of the conveyor belt thing. All right, and then we go up. Don't get too close while it's like, you know. We're fine, we're fine. Just didn't want to pick it up while I was still in the green force field. That's fine. I'm up here. We grab our slime bar, we put it here. We get the lever, check inside the chain, which is why, why wouldn't we, I guess. Didn't last time, should have, should have done so probably though. And uh, you wanna drop down here, I guess. Do we need a slime bar still? We need one here, okay, yeah, we can do that. Good thing we brought it. Hooray. Very nice. Secrets. Yes, finally, finally some secrets. Notice board, incoming report of Ombra spy trying to steal research. Kitako's Tuesday to be discontinued due to budget cuts. Perpetual testing initiative to take place on 25th anniversary. Okay, we have some paper that we are not allowed to possess. Oh, I had a name, experimental something. I clicked it and it disappeared. I'm allowed to have the book though. Employee number 2835, journal entry by redacted. September 30th, 2047. Today would have been Catherine's 60th birthday. Hard to believe it's been almost 40 years since she passed away. I can still picture that kind smile on her face that just lit up the room for everyone in it. God only knows what's going on through the boss's head right now. He seems to be getting worse each year, ever since the incident. If only someone would have the courage to stand up to him. I need a raise. Sure. Now I wonder if I've missed one already, you know? I hate that always. Now we know what we're looking for though, mostly. We're looking for like rooms, we're looking for like real openings, not just like buttons or whatever. At least not yet. We're looking for places we can get to. Slumber pressures are back. Yes, I want one. I do really want one. 
Again, though, I mean, it just looks right that camera down there. It looks really nice. There's a button there. Look at that. You're supposed to hit those buttons. <laughs> Will we get an, an arrow and the bow to do that? Because then we have to do it in the lobby thing, too, for sure. On sale. Shears, bows. Yes. <laughs> Whatever this is. And branches, I guess. Let me let me out. Line starts here. All right, let's see. Key tacos, key tacho nachos, bucket of slime bars, animated quesadilla, a big bang burrito, may resort from number four. High tech horchata, lasagna, maybe lasagna. Sides, slime bar, salsa. Miracle pills, microchips, try our slime or Sunday. I will. Machine. Daily specials. Number 19 is back. Just ask our staff and save the secret password. What's the secret password? Those mirrors don't work. But do you have to sit in the cauldron? Come on. There we go. Very important in any map. Enter. Waste removal chamber. Exit. I take P drill. <laughs> I don't know. I need a cart for this. Is there a cart somewhere? <laughs> Still may not work. It's true, they don't work. Um, <laughs> human machine. seem appropriate. I want to use the machine restroom, but there's no minecart. <laughs> can I not, can you not jump this? Are there blocks there? Because this is a block and a half gap, right? Hmm. In memory of Test subject two bananas, nineteen ninety seven to two thousand and seven. <laughs> Chamber seven, sure. Oh, another kind of open door we can get through though. Important notice: please keep the big door closed during testing. It's your one job. How do we? Can't get in there. The open door out for lunch. What a shame. Wet storage. <laughs> so dry, dry storage, yep. Employees only. I wanna get in there. I <laughs> really do wanna get in there, but that's just no way in, right? I just wish I could crawl, but I can't. I cannot. I can't open the door. Gas panes are all the way there. There's no gap. Can go through the door. No button. This feels like there could be a secret here somewhere, but I mean, it just isn't, I guess. I just want to get back there to all those things. Drinks, firework, cola, momentum, jump boost soda, submersion, Dr. Mover, hover? <laughs> Looks like an M from over there. <laughs> oh man. Friendly warning, jump at your own risk. Do not <laughs> lean on railing. Hit me. We could jump like here or here, maybe there, maybe we could get here, but like I don't know if there's something we can do there. Like I don't see a good goal. If I would see a destination where it's like, oh yeah, there might be something there, I'd be 
all over trying to get there. I also just right away thought about the lily pads, but they're just, they're too far apart to do anything with them. Definitely can't get anywhere. I wonder if it will let me jump down though. It actually will, interesting. Try to fit in there, couldn't do it. Where am I now? Oh, back here where we came out, okay. See, right there, we did it, found it. I feel like that's just something, we're missing something right here. That's what it feels like. Like this actually looks like the price you should go. far down here. And the walls were gonna kill me even in the water stream. So I can't swim up it. I'm guessing. I don't think I could have hit the vine. No, it's like it's two blocks up, right? Oh no that's a makeup or jump. How did I far so far down? Yeah okay. We have to try again. You know we have to try again. Cause I mean, look at that. Go up here, go up here, go up here, go up here. And then you're stuck? Probably, but maybe not. Maybe you can like get up top of this or something. I don't know. I really don't know if this is worth our time at all. It might just not be. But like this feels like, you know, it's meant to be record. Not so much over here anymore. It's just this part, you know? There's nothing there, is there? <laughs> I don't know. We could get on top of this. And then get on top of that island too. Okay, there's lots of things you could reach, but there's probably just no point. How did I not make that jump? But yeah, from here there's nowhere to go. <sighs> I don't think there's anything there then. I really thought there was something, but I guess there's nothing. There could have been like a chest here or something, but there is not. Unfortunately, and we can't, we can't jump past the water stream to get, you know, somewhere new. I kind of believe that there's something we could find here, but maybe not. Maybe there just isn't. Maybe nothing down here. <laughs> there's also nothing on that island, right? We'd be able to see it if there were something. And we can't go anywhere from the island either, right? It's just so tempting to try, though. Because it, it, it feels very much possible, but it feels like if... Well, first and foremost, it feels like there should be secrets here. There should be something that rewards my, you know, parkour skill here. But then I don't know. If there is something, it feels like it should be like a hint for that too. Like something where you see, oh, there's something over there quite obviously, right? Like a chest so we can see or, I don't know, just like something, like a point of interest that is impossible to miss. But again, yeah, the lily pads just don't take us anywhere here. 
I should have probably done another lever instead of this. How can I not try, you know? How could I ignore this? How could I ignore this? <laughs> I couldn't. Couldn't ignore it. Anyway, all right. I, I concede there's nothing here. Probably. There, there possibly is something somewhere. I just don't know where. I mean, there's nothing in the air. There, there could be like something here and then there could be like a way to go toppling it down there and get whatever that is. But I mean, there's definitely nothing there. I think. I mean, it could be like a chest around the corner too. It's so hard to rule out things here. <sighs> but we're moving on. <laughs> we're moving on. We should end the episode though as well, right? Kinda, yeah. Wasted too much time. Just a little bit too much time, but it did waste too much time. Let's let's take a look at it over there though. This I mean this all of this just feels like <laughs> This next test introduces our brand new Kitacho quality bow. It'll allow you to shoot distant targets that'll activate different things around the chamber. Bring the arrow back to you, simply drop the bow and it'll teleport its way into your pockets. Once again, no idea how the lab boys were able to do this, but hey, as long as we get some science out of it, what's wrong with a little witchcraft? Okay, need a slime more here, I'm guessing. I feel like I could lock myself in here though, can't I? If I go in there and drop the bow, I get the arrow back and then I'm stuck in there and I can't kill myself, so how do I get back out then? I don't have, I don't have like an item to reset the lever. Because if I do this, the door closes and then, you know. Does this kill slime wars? No, just. Um, <laughs> it doesn't kill arrows. No, it's just slime wars, right? One slime war, one lever, and one bow. Mars contains that. Okay, so there is. There's no button here to shoot though. <laughs> I'm confused. Where's the exit? Okay, let's let wait. What? I'm conf I'm really confused now. Yeah, I'm really confused now. That was a really bad shot. Maybe we are supposed to do this and then shoot that? But what if I get stuck? We haven't been taught if you can do that yet. Well, if I'm stuck, I'll just cheat my way out, I guess. Okay. Sure. Just closing <laughs> doors behind us everywhere we go. Right. And then up here we shoot this to bounce up there, okay. It's kind of fun. Oh, and then that pressure for it's there, me to shoot. But we can't get through the window. There has to be a different vantage point you can shoot from. Nailed it. Lever. Where was that door of the lever? It was like ages ago. Right? <laughs> I don't remember where the lapis block is. Like at R. How do I get outside? How do I get back out? I don't get back out? I have to get back out. Oh, this shots of this, right. The force field is down here. Right, 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 right. Okay, and then slam bar and arrow go here and then, yeah, 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 okay. Okay. 
20 tips. These iron bars are here for a reason. Can we shoot through them? <laughs> I don't think you can shoot through them, can you? You cannot. Well, what do I need to be able to see here, though? Oh, uh, no. I definitely need to do this. And this. And then, well, yeah, just don't grab the arrow. <laughs> but how do I, like, you want me to throw them through the iron bars? I guess so. So you don't want me, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's what you want me to do. Sure. Why do you move the slot? I hate that. Don't do it. Uh, oh, and then we, we can go out here again. Right. No, but I can't get the... Does this shut off? No. That is weird. I like the slime bar to the other side. I can't throw it through it. I can't... There's no exit on the other side, is there? Was there like a window somewhere in here? There must have been a window where I can throw it through. Down here, actually. <laughs> Brian. That was such a bad shot, too. <laughs> All right. Did that land in the ceiling? It did. I missed. That's fate. Hard shot. That's not hard enough. Don't know where that went. It didn't hit? Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> you did it. Fun fact, items can be picked up through non solid blocks. You don't say. It's an actual fun fact. Any secrets here? I just wonder... like another button we could have shot somewhere far away. It would be mean, kind of, but also really fun. I don't see a button. I would have put one on the flower, I think. What is that? I don't know, it's not a button, but what is this blue thing on top there? Is this a scarf? Might be a player head, I don't know. I kinda wanna shoot it now. But I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Um, again, it feels like now, you know, not the you. <laughs> there we go. Now the possibilities are endless, basically. Not endless, but you know, it could be buttons, pressure plates we can shoot everywhere. Assuming we get to keep the bow forever. Anyway, that's it for today, I guess.
Maybe we'll get like up somewhere and take a look at that blue thing on top of that pipe. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is. But that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.